Hello and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3 Black Ice mod version 911 and we're playing as the third Reich. Okay, just doing some final touching up of my OOB, moving units around, um, attaching units to the OOB, and we're gonna move this guy down here. Um, Gonna be moving these, putting these flak units, giving them um, proper um, uh, units or uh, uh, HQs. Sorry. Um, yeah, like you see, flak regiment one, and they have these. Like this fake general here. So we're going to give it an AA trait. HQ later. Uh, yeah, we'll give it to him. And we'll attach him to... Well, we'll leave him unattached for now. Uh, this guy right here. First, uh, loop float. Okay, there it is. And we have 13. Just trying to get these. I should have done this uh, sooner than later because it's kind of a pain in the ass. But that's alright. It's given my small niche of viewers. Very loyal viewers. Some, uh, uh, well, I guess you would say an insight, maybe? I don't know. Help? <laughs> I have no idea. Um, it's gotta be a lower ranked guy. Uh, they're all three still. Three. Gotta be a two or a one around here, isn't there? Yes, I know this is can be quite... Uh, we got this guy here. I'll attach him to loop float two. Um, hi. Again, we'll give it to somebody. Well, I'll just... Give it to this guy. We'll give it to the... Bigger Core C. Uh, come on. There we go. Okay. Couple more here. Come on. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just give it to that guy. And we'll give this to the second loop float. Alright, guys. Um. to loop float three okay one more and I'll have I have like three or four more that are still unattached but I'm not gonna do okay we'll give it to him Come on. Are you serious? Where'd it go? I hate that sometimes this stuff is really, really... There it is. Okay. 
Well, let's get this started. Okay, we're still at 601 with the IC and I have those three HQ uh, infantry divisions that popped up. Um, I went ahead and yeah, and definitely these will be added to units um, for immersion one out. Well, let's go ahead and send two of the there. And then Okay. Um These don't have an HQ just yet. Uh Let's produce one for them. Serves. And then we'll rush that one to the top. And we'll give. to there and one to these guys and like I said I broke this unit up oh I need to attach this to this guy to somebody I forgot which one he goes to I have this little book that has all the cores um, units that were involved in the fighting okay the first could be it. um Well, we'll keep him attached. And he will go there too. And we'll hook that up to the. Well, I don't know which. One. Well, let's let's get this going. Uh, this will probably be a shorter than usual episode, just so that I can get more of my the OOB right. Um. Get these guys on some ships and we need to change this commander out real quick but don't forget since it's right here it would be felt I think was his name Feld. he was the commander um, of the only cavalry well at this point it would be a brigade we're gonna transport them guys there Baltic will transport two. Okay. And let's continue. And probably pretty soon I'll be sending some subs and ships out in the ocean. And are they there? Yes, they are here. Okay, well, let's hook this motorized support unit to Heinz Guderian's unit. And. That'll be a more powerful unit. They um, and twentieth, we're gonna attach it to here. And the third Panzer Division. Okay, and these guys will be ready to go. Um the third core here. We'll move these guys to we'll move them there. Um, the 23rd Infantry Division is attached to. Oh, it doesn't have it in here. Huh. Let me see. Should be in here. I'll probably leave them attached to the third anyways then. Because the third core is going to get... Well, they have infantry divisions and brigades up here that I don't that I don't have in the game. So we'll leave them attached for now. And... We'll go ahead. And we'll go ahead and move the third... This was the smaller of the cores. 
and then those guys there as well. We'll move a couple of these SA units out. Well, we'll move these guys. We'll put them there. And let's continue here. Oh, we need to attach the loop float to the loop off. Uh, we have a trade here. So if you would like money for metal. Um, no, we're gonna wait just Let's okay, let's attach these guys to the Luftwaffe before we forget And the fourth And we'll attach that to okay And Kim and the Guys. These guys will definitely be you. We're gonna break those guys up, but we also might bring out a elite unit. Okay, twin engine fighter prototype advance. Okay, well we're gonna stop that one. And then we're gonna continue to look at what we're going to research. Alright, where are we at? Naval strike tactics. Um, and then huffed off. Well, let's get continue on our training. Well, we don't need that. Um, let's go direct fire unit training. Do we have any units? No. Not gonna be purchasing any metal just yet. Um, so we are going to be make. I think we're gonna build some more. No, not yet. Okay. Well, a couple more days. Well, what does Bulgaria want? I need for metal. Okay, bridging equipment advance and gunnability twin engine planes. Okay, well, we'll stop the bridging. Gunnability twin engine planes, we'll definitely stop that one. That's too far in advance. And, well, let's go back to our training. Recon and recon combined arms. Okay. Um,. Let's buy some metal from Bulgaria. And we'll buy a little bit of metal from the Soviet Union. The rest of those will look. And we're up to 623 on the IC. Hopefully, we don't have to drop that down again. Gotta keep an eye on that, guys, because we're, we're still not out of the clear until next year. And the rares, uh, we can let that go for cluster bombs. Okay. So what are we gonna risk? Um, let's go rolling artillery barrages. Okay. And we have some more stuff we can move over. Oh, let's move these guys over. Move camp. Transport. Transport these guys as well. And we'll transport these guys too. Let's continue this. And no. No. Nope. No, we're not going to be buying anything from overseas. Okay, radar for capital ships. Okay, we're going to stop that one, and that's going to be one of the first ones we research. Okay. Then we are going to... We're going to... 
Uh, we'll leave it, I guess. Should have been back by. Um. Yeah, we'll just leave it. Uh, what is it? Yeah, we'll buy your rares. Latvia. Yeah, we'll do it so that we deny it to the Soviets. Oh shit, we should have did the Estonian one. That's alright. And do we have any more? It's coming up. In about five more days, we're going to produce some more units. Italy. Yes, we will buy your rares. We're up to 39 on the spies, 101 in the... The, uh, officers. Um... Fighter pilot training advance, and we're gonna stop that one and go to. Um. Cruisers. Mm. Oh, not yet. So let's go ahead and skip the cruisers because it's not ready yet. And. Let's go flying boats then. Let me keep these. Well, that's a 40. Um. I don't know what to, what to research. Hmm. I I mean that's a forty tech. Well, let's just do it. Go flying boats. Yes. And any more units come popping up? Nope. Okay, but we're still still at six twenty three. Um, things are moving along nicely. It'll be done soon. Um, hmm. Radar for cruisers advance and air launch torpedoes. Okay, well, let's stop that one and let's stop that one. And let's come over here to cruisers and get their let's move that one up. Um Well let's do Secretary of Info. Well I wanna do this. Let's get our forward air controllers. And then we'll do it. And we have Stab KG76. And those guys were based out of Wiener Neustadt. And yes, we'll give it to Lore. That way we'll have some more bomber units ready for our attack on Poland. Okay, and that's going to give us much, much more production and I need to get some more hmm interesting have to, oh, we need to produce some more stuff
Let's move our officers down. We're at 101. Well, we'll leave that. But let's move our diplomacy up. A little bit. Oh, that way we can ask Sweden if they'll be our friend. So we, because there is a strategic effect if you get Sweden. Um, influence the nation, and then we are going to produce. Uh, we're going to build two more twin-engine fighters. We're going to build a para unit. I'll put on the reserves. Airborne engineers. And we're going to do an HQ until they're... Uh, the UTR HQs become available. And then I'm going to produce um, a lone airborne unit for well hmm Let's do two of them for HQs, and then we're going to build three more interceptors. Bounty. Okay. Well, let's move the turpits, Grass Zeppelin, and Von Hutton down. And let's continue this. And I don't know if we're, we're going to get into the war. Um, I'll probably. St it's going to be a short episode. Armor unit training advance. Let's stop. Uh, that one, those are 40s. And let's do Secretary of Info. That way we can get some more leadership. And we have some more units up here moved. So let's get Woodrig and Brand. them to East Russia and I think it's C2 transport these stuff over here okay Yeah, we'll leave them attached there. And you can see I'm already deploying my units where I want them. I'm going to go ahead and stop this, pause this. Excuse me. Um, get these HQs some more firepower. these guys Not attached yet. Just yet. Okay, let's continue this. And wing aerodynamic advance. We'll stop that one, and we don't have enough leadership. Okay. Now let's get these guys over here.
And the 239th was attached to the core is the seventh core. Where's it at? Second army, um, attach this to the third. There, move these guys into position. Attach this to Oberkommando Doros C. And let's start moving some of our Well, let's do this. This is gonna be Langsdorf. I should have done this sooner too. Sorry guys. Go Langsdorf. Admiral Shear. Um We will, and even on the Axis History Forum, uh, they have all the Kriegsmarine command ships. You know the captain of the ships, um, the actual. Um, well, it'd be Army Corps commands for them that are in the game. Um, so like we have Ring Group and Commando Ost. It has the leader of that. Um, let's give this to. Somebody. Mm. Let's give it to Marshall. We'll give the Kriegsmarine to Raider. And we'll take this guy out and we'll give it to. Oh, let's see. Give it to Hartman. And we're going to see if we can do this. So Argentina will give us transit rights. We'll also ask Portugal as well. We'll go a day and see what they say. Okay, both gave us transit rights. So we're going to move the cruiser to, well, let's move him to Argentina, Buenos Aires. And then, like I said, we're going to move some U-boats to Italy. That's too good. Let's move. Let's move a coastal submarine to Toronto. We'll move these guys to Toronto as well. And one more unit. Let's move first U flotilla to Venice. That way I get some units down here for um, attacking into the Mediterranean. Um, yeah, and let's do one more thing here. You want to take these ships 
seaplane tenders are really really slow so we're going to take them out of the Kriegsmarine and we're gonna I usually do we're gonna do just a couple ships um If it's an old guard guy, I don't mind as much, but I want him to have some really good traits as well. And I don't see anybody. Um, he's going to be a uh, armor or a uh, merchant cruiser captain. Um, let's give it to him. And let's do one more. And no donuts, you can have this unit. Well, let's go to the top. Let's give it to Albrecht. I don't know, he's not that bad of a commander, he's just got an old guard. Oh, we'll give it to Ware. And... Um, no, you go to your... Okay, Kriegsmarine is going to be attached to Kriegsmarine. They're going to be attached to you. Your Admiral. Commander Admiral. Okay, I think I got all these. Alright. Commander Admiral. Sorry, guys. And no. I'm gonna go, where's the Fury U boat? Where is it at? Come on. There. And then we're gonna we're gonna leave these guys unattached just for now. Okay, let's continue here. Let's get into August and then we'll be ready for the war. You see we're back down to 605. Okay, infantry support tank advance. We're going to stop that one. And we're going to go with... Well, let's go destroyer crew training. want to be more efficient in our... Okay. Um... Pretty much ready for the war. I moved some garrison, more garrison units. Um, we're gonna move von Speck to here. Oh no, we'll move him here, move him here, move him here. Move Forrester to here. And some of these, you know, I don't want to put units on the border with Netherlands and Belgium. I want them, otherwise we will get a, um, we're going to leave these guys here. And the 24th. Um, let's see. Would go into the. Oh yeah, I forgot about the 27th. Okay, um... We'll attach these to the hair group in south. And the 24th Infantry Division. We're going to assign these guys to...
give them to the Third Army Corps. Well, no. We'll give them to you guys. Yes, that works for me. Yes, I'm being a geek, I know. I'll just, I'll just do this. Strategic re redeploy them, and we have this fighting unit here. Um, I'm gonna move them. Just leave it as it is. And we'll move on Runstead up. And we're going to be getting into the war. It's getting closer and closer. Officers 102, spies 40. Training. Um, stop that one and to research. Well, let's go mountain. Should be getting next month. We should be getting a bunch more. Oh crap! Do I need to build something? I'm even paying attention. No, nope, not yet. Let's actually check our production. Yeah. Those will be done soon. Those. I'll be done just before the war starts, so I'll be kind of ineffective. Okay, July 30th, 1939, guys. And losing oil, but that's alright. Because we're going to stop a bunch of trades as well. going to do ah don't crash don't crash don't crash don't crash don't crash okay we're gonna do this um going to our transport there over there for a moment And we're gonna do these after a while. We'll move the first cavalry brigade, unattach them, and there. Let's 
17th. We're going to move there. And we have a decision here. Order of Stellongwella 2. Uh, was ordered on the 25th of August 1939 and contained a formation of 19 infantry divisions. Okay, let's continue this. And these guys, um, we're gonna move these guys to there. And then once we do the naval invasion, uh, we'll move the Baltic fleet back to Winnixburg. Okay. Uh, Marine Hitler. Jugden? 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 Uh, the naval branch of the Hitler Youth is used to train future sailors for the Navy. The book Marine Hitler. Jung I'm Dienst. Dienst with 150 pages was published by the Reichs Jung Birong, Reichs Youth Leadership. It is very well illustrated and contains everything the Hitler Youth boy needed to know if he plans on a career in the Third Reich Navy. Reichs Kriegsmarine RKM. And we're going to keep training. Jerry Can, Wehrmacht, Einheits Canister. German name for the jerry can was more than just a good can for carrying fuel and water. It was a basis of a system of refueling for motorized forces. Using the jerry can in standard trucks is more efficient at keeping the motorized forces fueled than specialized fuel trucks to, that take longer to refuel the same number of vehicles. Okay, we lose supplies, but we gain supply throughput until the end of the game. Eighth. Army Commando, the 8th Army was activated on August 1st, 1939 in Weltkreis 4, Dresden, with General Oberst Johannes Blakowicz in command, first seen service in Poland, participated in heavy fights during the Battle of Bazura. The Army was later reorganized into the 2nd Army for the invasion of France, before later being reactivated as part of the Ostfront in Russia. Okay. Um, okay, yes, we're going to create this. And we're going to attach these guys. These guys are going to be attached to the army. Because they were. And... And the 8th Army was attached to our group in the south. Our group in the south was attached to Ober, de, Ober der Commandos. Hairs. Okay. And we'll just leave that for now. Das Braun Bahn von Deutschland, the Brown Ribbon of Germany. This year's SS Brigade Führer Weber continues to hold the horse races and celebrations in Eifenberg Palace. Nice, and we lose descent. Fourth Army Commando. The Fourth Army was activated on the August 1st, 1939, with General Gunther von Klug in command. And first, it first went into action during the Polish campaign on September 1939 as Herr Group in North. And we're going to create this, and then we're going to move them to, uh, them to Seddon. And then we're going to attach these guys to 4th Army, because they were. OK, 
Okay, give me a second. I gotta let my dogs outside. Hold on a second. I'm actually going to only go a couple more days. I'll stop the episode and then we will continue this at a later time. Make sure I got... Okay. Got a bunch of stuff here. We'll go ahead and click this. National Socialist Books for Iran. Germany provided Iran with... A German scientific library. The library contained over 7,500 books selected to convince Iranian readers excuse me, of the kinship between the National Socialist Reich and the Aryan culture of Iran. In various pro-Nazi publications, lectures, speeches, and ceremonies, parallels were drawn between the Shah of Iran and Hitler and praised the charisma and virtue of Fuhrer Prince, Prince, Prince Zip. And we're going to send the books. LZ-130 Graf Zeppelin 2 Espionage. The espionage trip of 2nd to the 4th August 1939 took taking over 48 hours and covering 2,612 miles, 4,203 kilometers. It is the longest trip the LZ-130 made. The main goal is to secretly collect information on the British chain home radar system. To do this, the airship flew northwards, close to the British east coast, up to the Shetland Islands and back, as well as the 45 crew, 28 personnel engaged in the measurements. 28 personnel engaged in the measurements were carried out. Okay. And submarine crew training advance. All right, and we're gonna stop that. And then we are going to restretch. Um, well, let's work on the police because we're going to need these guys for stopping the. Oh, we got some more planes. Hold on a second here, guys. Sorry about that, I had to let the dogs in. Okay, um, well, let's do this. Let's put these guys here. No, you're not going to. Um, let's give it to the guy, and we're going to attach them to the transports. Now these transport planes are going to be very, very important. 
Go to war with the Soviets. Okay. Um. These guys, we're probably going to drop them into Poland as so we go to war. We'll go a couple more days here, and then I'm going to stop the episode. And probably start another one after that. We'll have back-to-back -back episodes. And once these ships done, we'll clear out some more. I see for us. Ah, we have two more. F okay. Small ship water radar advance. All right. And, well, let's work on our secret. Oh, we can't do it yet. Well, let's do some land based radar. Luftwaffe maneuvers. August 1st, 1939 in northern Germany begins a three-day maneuvers of the Luftwaffe headed by General Helmuth Feim. This can help train pilots, ground crews, and help develop tactics. There's a BF. Uh, is that a D? Or, it's not an E. D or C? Don't really know. There's Heinkel 111s. And we gain some traits and like I said I'm going to stop the episode here uh, it's shorter than normal and um, the next episode will be at war so please stay tuned for uh, an upcoming episode of Hearts of Iron 3 and uh, yeah I hope to see you guys there um, thanks for coming thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys again soon bye now